What's up guys? Uh, haven't seen you guys in a while, but I'm here um, at Kevin's getting ready to assemble the 1.6 motor. Um, reason you haven't seen me in a while is because I started a new job this past winter. Um, just been busy with that. Got a new apartment and a whole bunch of other stuff has been going on, but have some time here. So I'm just over here at Kevin's helping him assemble this. Um, today we're going to try and assemble the whole motor, um, get everything put together. Timing belt, oil pan, uh, valve cover, hopefully the manifold too. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens today. See what we can get done. All right, what's going on guys? So today got the valve cover gasket. Uh, the seal that was holding me back, if you guys remember from the, the water neck of the coolant, couldn't find that thing anywhere. O'Reilly's had it surprisingly because they always fuck up on shit. But then I have the injectors uh, from a 93, I believe. It's like 91 to 93 RX7 purple top injectors, 550cc. Um, I did put new pencil caps, as you can see on there. They were kind of a bitch to do, but got those done. I do have new injector O-rings, stuff like that, and a little bag in here. Um, other than that, so if we can get that together, we can get the intake manifold on. Um, I, I know I talked about that in the past, and I know you guys wanted to see it. Uh, got the timing, timing belt and everything else there. Uh, let me grab the intake manifold. So you guys remember a few weeks ago, probably even more than about a month ago, I started working on uh, painting everything for the valve cover, intake manifold, some other stuff, finish off the block as you see here. But this is the intake manifold. It came out pretty damn good. Wrinkle black. Uh, took us about a couple of hours, not too bad. Um, taped off everything that needs to be taped off, but should look pretty good. And then you got the valve cover here. But with the black, pretty good. The black block, and uh, I don't know what color, if I'm gonna leave the, the turbo, it's normal color, or what I'm gonna do yet, but it should look pretty, oh, stuck in my hoodie. So assembled, it should look pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty badass. So assembled, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't have the bolts in there, but it's, it's kind of sketchy right now at the moment, but uh, let's see if it can adjust this a little bit. Bring it over for you guys. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's finished. I have another little trick I'm going to do for that. Um, that's probably going to be one of the next videos. But yeah, so today we're going to do the timing belt, a few other things like that. I don't have the water pump pulley. Uh, I checked with Garage Star, they're out of stock at the moment. It's a billet aluminum pulley. It looks really nice because I can't find my original. I was just going to paint it black and throw it back on, but I have no clue where it went. That's what kind of sucks about pulling the motor and getting everything out of the car in a different location than transferring locations and in the route it kind of lose shit. But. So we're going to get this front cover off here uh, since I realized you can't get the water neck installed correctly with it on. But we're going to get cracking here and should have it assembled. <laughs> So with the 1.6s and I think even the 1.8s, the coolant reroute is really good because this rear cylinder doesn't get enough coolant. And a lot of times what happens is this rear cylinder actually cooks. So um, I hear from a lot of people who have blown their motors or had any kind of issues with their internals, it's always uh, cylinder four, it's always that rear cylinder. So um, what's gonna happen is this will sit right up front here like that. And there's actually gonna be a cap that blood, uh, caps that off and there's gonna be a sensor right in there. And it's gonna go from the radiator to the back, other cool port in the rear. So it's gonna help a lot for that rear, the rear cylinder, but it also looks better. So instead of doing the old, where'd you put that? Custom wrench. Um, the old school, which I don't have two of these, um, we put one on each on each camshaft, lock them in place, clamp them together to keep you right at top dead center. Uh, that kit from Find Me Out came with, it's called a ninja tool. 
So as you can see, the little arrow, as you can see the little arrow right here, pointing into each, uh, each letter for top dead center. This little tool holds in place. Pretty cool. Too bad we don't have any beers. I was gonna say, yeah, it opens the beer bottles too, so. And it could be a keychain. Three things in one. Now we'll throw the time belt on, put on all the uh, pulleys and whatnot, and tensioners, get that set up. Should be good. Almost got the timing belt on. We're just trying to put the tensioner, put the spring back on. It's kind of a bitch to do. Yeah, man, I almost had it. <laughs> he had it first one time and then found out that he had the cover of the spring on the wrong side, so. That's how it's a bitch. So we just finished doing the timing on it and I think it's pretty good. We got top dead center down here. And then these two are lined up right here and there with these, this V. I think that's good. We have enough slack on the top. Well, it got a little tight now. But, so, it looks good, got the spring put on, the tensioner spring. So we didn't quite finish it, assembling it yet, but we're getting there. So I've been sitting here dealing with uh, putting the timing cover on, getting all that set, I do have to I guess this line was cut, so I'm going to have to replace that one. Um, I might as well just replace all the lines while I'm at it. And what I really have left is just to throw the alternator on. I need one small gasket for the top valve cover up here, um, but for the most part, she's pretty much together. Uh, I just gotta throw my crank pulley back on and whatnot. I need to order that bullet aluminum uh, water pump pulley. But this is what she looks like and what I have a little trick I'm gonna do for the uh, to kind of top it off once it's finished, but I got I got the idea from uh, the Car Passion Channel. So if you watch Car Passion Channel, you probably know what I'm gonna be doing next. But for the most part, this is what it's gonna look like. It's looking good. It's coming along. It's been uh, taking a little bit of time, but so I just have to order a couple of new things to put the reroute on, and like I said, the little, there's a little gasket that goes under here along the bottom of the valve cover. I need to get that. And I don't know if I should paint this to match this because I did repaint this. I'm curious if I should just take this all apart and repaint it. I might do that. I know you really don't see this once the pulley goes on, once this pulley goes on. So I'm thinking I probably won't repaint it. But other than that, that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, Clinton took off. He had to get to get going and meet up with his family. But I think it looks really good. I like the all blacked out wrinkle black, black block with the black uh, refreshed timing cover I think once the turbo gets on there I think it's gonna look really good so should I keep this is the turbo I'm gonna be using it's got a bigger hot side as you can see uh, should I leave it this color leave it the, the original finish or should I coat that as well um, comment below let me know and this is the old there's another turbo I had I was originally gonna use but uh, my friend redid the paint on there to match my car and it didn't really match as you can kind of see here, it's more of a, they call it Mariner Blue, as most of Miata guys know, but uh, it's not as bright. So I'm going to use this one anyways. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Um, as you can see, all I have left, like I said, is the alternator and the crank pulley to put on. As Clinton said, we had some of the timing uh, issues where we finally got that together. Um, it's my very first time timing a dual overhead cam engine. Most of my old cars have all been single overheads or, you know, the dual overhead cars that I did have. I didn't have to uh, do any timing work or head gasket work. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know. 
so I can change it up. I really want to get back into this vlogging. Now that it's getting nice out, I could pretty much go get my SRT right now, but the roads are still a little salty. Probably wait a couple more weeks. Usually I get the SRT about the end of March into April. So only a couple more weeks, guys, and then we're gonna be back at it doing the car vlogs with the SRT, going out, driving, doing some fun stuff. I have a few things planned for it. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video, but I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Should have been here a long time ago, but I'll catch you in the next one, guys. See you later.